Let's, uh, let's go on a little bit of a drive here. So... <laughs> oh my god, I like that it kind of bounces around just as a dryer would. How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to the beautiful main assembly. Today, we're going to be checking out a new update that has come out, and uh, one that I am obviously very excited for because I'm kind of known is the Steam Workshop guy. I, I like to play with Steam Workshop creations and usually destroy them. Well, that's exactly what has happened with Main Assembly. We now have Steam Workshop support. The game is still in closed beta, so not many people at all are playing it, but already the creative community has done way better than what I could ever do in this game by building some really impressive things. So it came out like a day or two ago. It's still very, very early. There's only uh, a page or two of creations on the workshop, but I'm so excited for this game. I'm so excited for the future of it because I personally think it is absolutely beautiful and it's going to be one of the best creative games out there. So yeah, I'm going to be checking out some creations today. Like I said, there's not many, but there's enough to uh, do an episode on. And we're starting off with a plane in this game. A super light plane at that, as you can see. Very bare bones, which I like, because this should hopefully be pretty easy to fly. At least, hopefully. So, yes. Um, I've never flown in this game. Let me just make sure we have all the servos working. Uh, so yeah, this is all obviously all electric too. So, uh, this is gonna be interesting to fly. Let's get it into gear here. Oh my god. Whoa! Whoa! Jesus! Okay then. Let's try that again. And this time... Okay, okay. This is, this is way harder than it seems. Alright, full throttle ahead! Thankfully, it's a super light, so it's not like we need much space either. And that's the edge of the map. Okay, well, I've, I've never played on this map, so I have no idea where we can go. Clearly, that's not the way. Can I get my plane back? No? Okay. All right, let's try this again. We're not even going to use the plane runway because we really don't need to. Oh, my God, this thing. Okay, it's a little bouncy. It also likes to lean because of the rotation of the propeller, I'm assuming. It likes to lean to the right a little bit, as you can see. Why is it bouncing? I, I don't like this. You know what? We're going to slow it down. We don't need... Okay, that's too slow. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it's not, I, I don't know how to make it stop bouncing, but I kind of like it. It's kind of en enjoyable. Okay, well, at least we took it off. What is that? That's not the, is that a drag strip? So yeah, I'm I'm very much new at this map too, so I'm very excited to see what it has. What, am, am I gonna die? <laughs> I feel like this bounce is gonna rip this thing apart sooner or later. But yeah, this is the first open world map, and I gotta say, it looks like there's gonna be a lot of fun stuff to do here, and uh, one thing is flying around with this crazy thing. I gotta say, now that it's in the air, like I said, it leans a bit, but aside from that, considering it's a very early creation in this game, <laughs> aside from the bounce as well, it's pretty damn impressive, but I kinda like the bounce, you know? It adds its own little flavor. Alright, let's see if we can maybe take this thing to- oh god, oh my god, it just falls out of the sky. Okay, 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 oh my god, stop! Stop, okay, it has a reverse gear! I don't want to! Okay. That was probably the worst landing I've ever done. Alright, let's try that again. Uh, I've slowed the engine down the best I can. I don't like that this engine has a reverse gear. That is horrifying in a plane. That that should be something that doesn't happen. Okay, we're going in hot. I'm, I'm, oh god, the reverse gear again! So yeah, it goes right... <laughs> stop, stop, please stop! Okay, for the love of God, I'm actually, this thing's very, uh, durable, as you can see. Okay, I've broken the propeller, so it stopped. But seriously, a plane roll with a reverse is a very bad idea, especially when it's the same freaking button as the throttle. So yeah, I kept throwing it in reverse accidentally, because there's no way to judge how slow you're truly going. So, we landed it, we didn't kill ourselves, and only a little bit of damage, and by that I mean... We basically lost the whole propeller. All right, and now, oh my God, this thing is beautiful. We have a monster truck. I love the art style in this game. It is so good. Um, So yeah, we're on a frozen lake right now. Oh man, that is loud. We have a monster truck already. And just doing my first little drive around, I wanna feel how good the suspension is. It feels... A little bendy. I don't know if that's the correct term. Yeah, you can see the front wheels like to bend like crazy. Important part is it didn't actually break though, and it looks like it's actually decent at climbing. So yeah, it looks like it's maybe jet engines in here. Yes, definitely. I I like jet engines. That's fun. 
Okay, and let's see how good it is at a, a nice little ski jump here. Man, I'm glad this thing isn't any wider. It's going to be really hard to keep this thing stable down this. All right, full speed ahead. Oh, yes. Not bad. Not bad at all. What's the distance? A little past 40, and we did break our suspension, as you can see, but it actually landed it. It took the hit. Looks like, yeah, we broke both sides, actually, in the back. And my wheel just vanished. Okay. Well, I guess we don't need that anymore. Oh, okay. Now now both <laughs> wheels are gone. So, yeah, the, the way this game degrades, I think it just takes damage over time. And those ones probably just randomly broke there. All right. And let's see if this can do what monster trucks do best, which is crush cars, of course. So, we got a nice little camper van over here. I'm going to try and hit it. In retrospect... Trying to do this on ice is probably not the best idea. Uh, because this thing's just, like, floating away now. Oh, my God. Why did I think this would be a good idea? All right. Full speed ahead. Please tell me I can actually aim this. There we go. And wow. Okay. That is a very durable bus or van, I should say. Because it just absolutely destroyed me. All right. Let's see if this is any better on some actual ground with some friction, which should be... Hopefully a little more destructive. There we go. I mean, it didn't ride over it like a monster truck should, and we actually did break our suspension once again. But at least we destroyed it a little bit, damn it. Uh, so yeah, I will say, not but Whoa, Jesus. Okay. Well, at least I didn't break the game, but where'd my monster truck go? So yeah, that was the first monster truck in main assembly. I will say the suspension needs a little bit of work. It's a little bit, you know... Squishy, I think that's the term I used before. Um, but yeah, I mean, it ran over this and it actually destroyed it a little bit. All right, well, we're on the racetrack. I thought we would try some sports cars out. And oh my God, the, the detail that these guys have done already in this is truly impressive. So if you haven't seen this game before, by the way, all these panels are made by bending. You can actually, let me just show you. If I wanted to, I could lift that up. That was actually the windshield there. I was trying to lift up the back panel. But you get the idea. You actually have to form these in this game. And it truly is impressive what these guys... Oh, come on, man. I can't even get the freaking windshield right. There we go. Uh, but it is truly impressive what these guys have done with this thing. So let me actually, before we drive this thing... I thought it was supposed to be colored. Let me just reload this guy in just in case. Maybe it wasn't colored. Maybe I'm just crazy. Uh, I just wanted to check the programming out to make sure this is easy enough to understand. WS, spacebar. I'm assuming that's for e-brake, maybe. Oh, there's some logic here. Um, so, yeah, not too much in terms of uh, detail with this thing, which is good. I was hoping there w it wouldn't be too complex. Let's take it for a spin here and see how it is. Now, everything in this game, from what I can remember, is electric. So if, oh man, this thing sticks to the ground. I've always had issues when I build things in this game, getting things to grip. So this is, this is very weird to me. If, oh Jesus, that's what I'm used to. Um, things flipping all the time. But yeah, somehow this thing just sticks to the ground. I mean, obviously it probably has to do with aerodynamics. And as I say that, I do another flip. Uh, but yeah, it seems to be, if you, if you don't turn aggressive like that, this thing feels great. It's not doing any understeer or anything like that. I mean, aside from my bad driving, this thing is amazing. Gotta say, it feels weird, though, not hearing an engine. This is all electric, and that's hilarious to me. Let's go off a little bit of a jump here, and by a jump, I mean a whole freaking mountain. Oh, is, is that the technology it has? I just noticed something on the bottom. Uh, let's actually go into build mode and see what the heck that is, because I'm thinking there's something fishy going on with this. No, that's just a plate. Yeah, I'm not sure what this thing is. I can't seem to pinpoint exactly. It's a weight. Oh, okay. I get it now. It's uh, obviously made to center the weight right at the center of the vehicle. I thought maybe it was like a magnet or something. I don't know if they added any new blocks into this. But it feels like it sticks to the ground a little too well. I feel like there's something fishy going on here. Uh, but yeah, that was absolutely fantastic. Let's check out some more vehicles. All right, we got an F1 car, and my god, this is so beautiful. Look at that glass. That is such a smart design, and it looks so amazing. So obviously, jet-powered, easily the most sexy vehicle I've seen yet. It's just got curves everywhere, and I don't know how long the creator took to make this thing, but I know when you're dealing with curves in this game, it takes a long time to do them right. So props to him or her. All right, it's actually slower than the other one. Ooh, 
actually getting lots of understeer, as you can probably tell. Compared to the other car, that one took turns like crazy, and I'm wondering if that's what the programming does, is it lowers the uh, steer value so you don't flip, which I'm thinking that's probably what that was now, now that I'm trying this thing out. So, uh, I don't like the fact that the steering is so aggressive, or sorry, so little aggressive. Because if you do want to do this course, you're going to have to slow down into those turns quite a bit. But you know what? Braking is part of racing. I should probably use my brakes more in games like this. And uh, once you get used to it, I think it is broken a little bit because I am turning to the left, as you can see, every now and then. Uh, but yeah, once you get used to it, it's not so bad. As I say that, I climb a freaking mountain accidentally. I, I got to say, this one wins the looker competition, though. This, oh, God, it's just, I mean, it looks better than most real-world F1 cars. This thing is amazing. And look at that. You can actually... Take it off-roading a little bit. I mean, actually, holy crap, this thing's still alive? Let's just go up a freaking mountain and see what happens. Well, why not, right? There we go. On to the dirt course. Never mind. I like how someone's logic right when they get this game is to build a freaking shopping cart. And uh, I'm, I'm cool with this. This thing... Okay. Uh, what's the forward key? Oh, okay. So, hold on here. I like that the front wheels are like actual shopping cart wheels, too, where they spin everywhere. This thing, I mean, you might actually be able to do well with it if you get, oh my god, okay. Okay, relax, relax. How do I use, ah, there we go. I was figuring out how to use the back jets is what I was trying to do. And full speed ahead. Oh, back to the uh, racetrack we go, I gotta say. I mean, it's a shopping cart, but it's quite durable. And as I say that, it actually breaks. Uh, let's reset that here. Let's let's see how we can do driving around a shopping cart. I love just, just the just giant jets for steering this thing. I mean, how else are you going to steer a shopping cart? Jesus Christ, this thing. I mean, it's a shopping cart, so I'm not surprised that it has a mind of its own, but it is pretty aggressive. I just want to steer. All right, full speed ahead, baby. Let's jump this thing. There we go. So yeah, I will say this game is absolutely beautiful, but it needs the destruction physics of something like Besiege. They're definitely not as good. I mean, at least they do get destroyed and they do have bending, as you can see. But I feel like you have to push these cars to the limit to truly actually destroy them. And I hope it gets a little easier as the game is being developed. You gotta remember, this is still in closed beta, so there's gonna be a lot to be worked on. But, so far, I'm enjoying myself and uh, the physics are there. It's just we need that crumpling that I, I so desire. Okay, so the one bad thing about this is most people don't explain how these things work, so we just got to figure it out together. This one's probably shift. No, it's not. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, God, what am I doing? What? I don't know how to control this. Uh, I'm getting dizzy. I'm getting really dizzy. I am okay. Okay, I am the winner of the break dan dancing competition. That's what I am. Okay, get off that. He's still spinning. <laughs> oh, God. Was that supposed to happen? All right, screw it. Let's just try it again. Yeah, no, this is designed to kill me, basically. I'm cool with this. It's fine. And, yeah, that's what I'm saying this game needs to improve on is just the destruction. With something like that, we should be a ball of just rubble right now. But still, it's kind of working. It's kind of, I mean, we're just going down the drag strip now, no big deal. And out to space we go. Never mind, we're out of the map, damn it. This thing's called Stud Saren. No idea what the hell this thing is. It looks like it could fly. It looks like it's like a, a Christmas-themed sleigh or something. What the hell? What's a Stud Saren? I actually went to the Steam Workshop post, too. And the only comment is Stud Saren as well. So what, what, whatever it is, I, what the fr- Wait, what is this? Is, is Stud Saren a grasshopper in a different language? Oh my god. Wait, I love it. This is my favorite creation yet. It's a mechanical grasshopper. That's what I'm assuming it is. I have no idea if that's the case or not. But look at its design. It's actually quite smart. It's got shocks in the front to take the blow of the landing. And those legs, those piston legs, man. Okay, we, we flipped her. That, I was, I, I just downloaded this one on a whim thinking it was nothing. That's the most impressive one yet. That was amazing. All right, looking more at the programming of this grasshopper thing. I was only using W. I didn't expect it to actually be able to turn, but yes, indeed, we have uh, A and D and also whatever F does. Also, there's this hit sensor indicator. I'm assuming that has to do with the legs resetting themselves. 
Uh, I have no idea, though. We're not going to worry about that. We just want to see what the rest of these buttons do. So, yeah, we're back at the racetrack. Uh, what's F do? Okay. I'm assuming if I flip, that's like to reset it. Now, let's try and turn to the left. I'm turning to the left, and it's turning to the right. Okay, so far, I mean... Oh, wait. Perfect time. It does do it! Okay, so that's how to flip it. Unfortunately, I have broken this thing, and I think... Okay, now it's turning to the left, though, so I'm actually trying. Let's turn to the right. I mean, obviously, we're not on flat ground, so it's not going to be perfect. Damn it! I'm so glad this thing has that. Okay, I've really broken this thing now. Yep, yep. We're just going to reset it. Not bad, not bad at all. <laughs> By far the most unique creation, and how can you not smile when you're hopping around like a grasshopper? So, yeah. Stud Saren, whatever that is, I, I absolutely love it. All right, and back with the planes. Look at this beautiful boy. Okay, so this is absolutely amazing, first of all. And secondly, why am I doing this here when we have a perfect runway? Because I like to live dangerously. Oh my god, okay, that just takes off right away. So the engines in this game are extremely aggressive. We can kind of coast with this one at least, which is kind of nice. Uh, but yes, this is the biggest plane yet. And it does like to go upwards. I'm noticing that immediately. It's going to take some getting used to. It doesn't have rudder control either, which is kind of frustrating. I mean, you can still turn it. It's just not the easiest thing to fly. But then again, with something this size, I'm not surprised. All right, you know we have to try and land this thing. I don't even remember where the airport is. I think it's over here. I mean, we could technically use the drag strip if we really need to. I'm going to keep flying this thing for a while, though. I want to really test this thing out. So far, nothing has broken off. It feels actually amazingly good after you get used to the fact that it has no rudder control. And yeah, I gotta say, I am really impressed with this one. This is fantastic. One thing I would like in a future design is the option to uh, not have to hold down a button to keep your engines on. Feels kind of weird in a plane with an engine that you have to keep held on. Honestly, I'm feeling good about this one. It's pretty easy to fly. If we can get it straight, that's gonna be the hard part. Because of the no rudder control, I think we'll be all right, though. This thing feels rather slow, so I think that's going to make it easy to land this thing. And we're going in sideways. Yes, I know. Let me try and straighten it now. Straight, straight, straight. We're going to have to drop it down as well, though. Oh, God. Okay. Now, I was confident. I am no longer confident at this. Oh, God. This is going to be bad. I don't think we're going to need this all this whole runway. Ooh, okay, we're just going to go. Ah. Uh. Oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. I knew it was slow as hell. And thank God that's the case because I would have not done that if it wasn't if it wasn't for the fact that it was really easy to stop really, really quickly. So yeah, that's the one thing with the engines in this game. Uh, they, they're just so aggressive and they stop on a dime. It's, it's really weird to get used to it. And of course, how could you not have a, a dryer? Why? I, I don't know. Why why not, right? So is there anything to do with this one? Okay, WS is power. Spacebar is the brake. It's nice to know that the dryer has a brake at least. Let's uh let's go on a little bit of a drive here. So <laughs> Oh my god, I like that it kind of bounces around just as a dryer would. Now can we go in reverse? Yes we can. We can come back with this thing. Oh my god. So how how's how's the brake work? Oh, the brake actually works pretty good. So yeah, not not really sure why someone's first choice was to build a dryer in this game, but hey, it, it, it works just like a dryer, and it's actually pretty damn good. And now I'm extremely dizzy. All right, guys, and on that, we're going to wrap up another episode of Main Assembly here. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out some very awesome creations today. And like I said, we're literally scratching the surface right now. The, the workshop's only been out for a couple days, and already you're seeing... Some amazing designs in this game. I am such a fan of it, and I'm excited to see what the creative community is going to make next. Uh, if you are new to this game, by the way, I have done a few episodes where I build as well. Uh, so if you want to check those out, I'll have a link in the description. Uh, but yeah, check out this amazing game. It's coming out, I believe, in the middle of 2020. So it's still a little bit of a ways away, but I think it's one of the coolest building games out there, and I'm having a blast playing it, and I hope you guys are enjoying watching it. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.